Hello, I'm Kira Tomczak with this week's UWW-TV's Internet News Update. The Whitewater Common Council discussed the lockbox concerns within the community on November 1st. Concerns stem from the 2015 approval of any commercial, industrial, or multi-residential building in Whitewater needing to install a security lockbox for the structure. The goal of this law was to allow police, firefighters, and other emergency personnel access for emergency measures. Locals have voiced their issues on the case and the Whitewater Council continues to review their options. Remember that student who crashed a car and ran across the Whitewater campus naked a few weeks ago? That student was Chetabel P. Ozadi from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He is now in custody for attempted second degree sexual assault, operating a vehicle without owner's consent, along with a misdemeanor of disorderly conduct. Ocity is due for court on Monday, November 7th for a preliminary hearing. Patrick A. Gerber, a Whitewater citizen, has been charged for his third offense involving methamphetamine. He faces felony charges of possession and manufacturing meth from this past August and another charge for missing his court date. Gerber, who lived in the University Garden Apartments on North Trat Street in Whitewater, will be due in court on November 28th. Alan Johnson is facing a charge of first-degree homicide for shooting and ultimately killing his brother-in-law, Kenneth Mekowitz, in the town of Whitewater. John Johnson is in custody with a $750,000 cash bond and, if convicted, will be facing prison for life. The investigation and court dates are ongoing. That's it for this week's Internet News Update. I'm Kira Tomczak, and I'll see you again next week.